Some Korean students spent their summer break tracing the footsteps of their ancestors. In today's close-up, we find out how these students learned about their heritage. Joseon's 22nd ruler, King Jungjo, was the symbol of filial love and reform. Some 220 years ago, King Jungjo visited the tomb of his father, Crown Prince Sato, 13 times. He was accompanied by 1,770 soldiers and officials on 779 horses. Two centuries later, Korean students walked the same route as King Jungjo, traveling 62 kilometers from Changdeokgung Palace in Seoul to the tomb of Crown Prince Sato in Suwon over three days. 날씨도 덥고 너무 힘든데 그래도 정조대왕의 아버지를 위해서 이 길을 또 만드시고 걸으셨다는 그 효심이 너무 깊어서 저도 엄마 아빠 생각하면서 참고 평소 역사에 대해 관심이 없었는데 이번 기회를 통해 더 역사에 관심이 많이 갖고 더 알고 싶은 생각이 들었어요. Marking its 13th year, this excursion was arranged so that Korean teenagers could personally experience the important historical event. 현장을 찾아가는 역사 교육은 사실 그 시대와 나라의 정신을 배우게 하고 또 바른 미래를 준비하는 길이라고 생각을 합니다. The teenagers had a meaningful time touring the Suwon Hwasong Fortress and tracing the footsteps of King Jungjo. Water roars down the rocky surface of Puryong Waterfall in Jirisan Mountain. Breaking through the deafening sound of the waterfall is Korea's traditional pansori piece, Shimcheonga. This is how Korean ancestors practiced to attain the perfect voice, which was said to be able to express the sound of everything in the world. Their teacher started learning Korean traditional singing at age 11. She spent her entire life trying to attain that ideal voice, but her pursuit of perfection is still in progress. Let's hope that these aspiring traditional singers who spent their summer in Jibisan Mountain practicing with all their might under the waterfall realize their dreams.